Are you joking me? Look at... Look at the finish. Are you having a... Now you're making me swear. Look at the finish of this thing. This is real makeups. Real makeups. Just like the combination of these products is just... Are you actually joking? Look at my skin. Ooh, wow. I'm really in shock here. I'm in shock, genuinely. Anyway. Hi. So today's video is going to be me trying on products that are new to me. Some of these things have been out for a year, more than a year, but it's new to me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, the NARS Liquid Blush, one of the NARS Liquid Blushes, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray, and this Karl Lagerfeld Lip Gloss. Yeah, so those are all the new products. Oh no, it's not all night at all. It's Urban Decay D-Slick. D-Slick. If that's something that you're interested in, you've come to the right place. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Reddit. It will all be linked below. So first, I'm going to prime with the Milk Hydro Get Primer. I'm just going to take one pump. And I'm going to put that on my face. Okay, that wasn't even a pump, but... Okay, I think I need a bit more, so I'm going to add another pump. This primer is really a something. I used it for the first time a couple of days ago and I was shocked. I was really shocked. My eyes really zoomed in because, huh? I mean, like, my base. I like to think my base is pretty, like, flawless as it is, but that thing was really... Yeah, so okay. Several points, several points were really made. Now I'm a believer in primer. Like I never used to, I always used to be the person that was like, oh no, I just don't prime. Because like I said, my results are good. And like my skin prep was enough in my opinion. But this primer just makes it that much better. Love it. Okay, so I prime my face. Next thing I'm going to do is my brows. Okay, so I've done my brows. I said I was gonna do them off camera, but I just let you see a little bit of what I was doing. So now I'm going to set my primer with the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. So I've powdered my face. That's to make sure that the primer is set. So now I'm going to color correct and I'm using the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX14. I talk about this in my product favorites video which was two videos ago i'll link it up in the cards and yeah this is extremely thick it's very very thick so it's perfect it's perfect for color correcting um and the color is not orange but it has like a reddish orangey undertone so it does the color correcting for me and then again like i said it's really thick so it adds that coverage i'm just going to use this brush next i'm going to put on the nars natural radiant longwear foundation this thing it was 3 a.m and i just put moisturizer on and rahina forced me to put this thing on and i said my eyes really zoomed in this thing the finish of this is just something i don't really i'm not sure about it but all i know is that hermes is bringing this to my house hermes is bringing it to my house and i'm very excited but yeah um this one is amazing I'm interested to see how it wears though, but obviously I'm not going to be able to do that because there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. The time is 9.33, so there's no wearing that's going to be done, but I, I can do a wear test or something later on. But this is amazing. I'm very excited. I'm trying this in the shade Macau. I think this is like my perfect shade. It did seem a bit pink when I first put it on, but then I, I don't know, maybe I was looking at, you know, when you look at something too long, your eyes start getting distorted and stuff. Yeah. So maybe it was that, but yeah, love this. Are you joking me? Look at, look at the finish. Are you having a? Now you're making me swear. Look at the finish of this thing. Nice. Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> you must be having it. Look at this. Bring this thing closer. Come and have a look. 
Okay, is it, are you gonna focus? Look at this. Okay, you can see my spots are up, up nice, close and personal and stuff, but yeah. Look at the finish of this. Are you joking me or something? I look green, actually. No, you don't. Maybe it's the camera. I hope it doesn't look like this like when I actually edit it because it looks a bit green. It doesn't here and it doesn't really there, but when I anyway, no, nah, are you sick? You said joking. Raina, are you dumb? You says joking me. Look at the finish. I cannot shot. wait to see that Hermes man at the door. So I can pick that thing up and just I wanna drink this thing. Look at Wow. So I've put on my foundation. Oh I'm just I'm in awe, I'm in shock. Maybe I need to get this concealer as well. Okay, anyway, I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty. I'm going to be wearing the Fenty Beauty uh, Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 390. And then I'm highlighting even further with the Maybelline Thank you. Fit Me Concealer in the shade 40. Okay, so I've done all that and I'm now going to set all of that with the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. So I've just set with the powder and I'm actually like, I'm in shock. Do you see this? Oh, I don't even know if the camera is giving it justice, it's not, but I don't think you understand. I'm in shock. It's so flawless. Wow, wow. This is real makeups, real makeups. Hey, okay. So, now I'm gonna bronze. I do wanna start um, using, not a cream, con not contour, because I don't want it to be cool, but I want some cream contour going on too. I think it's time, I think I'm ready for it. So I've never been keen on it because I don't like, I don't like it when there's it's too dark or too harsh or you know what I mean? Because I'm just scared that in real life when people look at me, I'm going to look scary. But maybe it's really time. Maybe it's time. So I mean, if I do it, it's not by force that I have to put loads on, is it? So anyway, I'm bronzing with the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to put Mocha Mummy a little bit on top. Mr. Hermes, you better run, bro. In fact, I don't even think I need to put on another. Tea. No, I'm actually in shock. This is amazing. And then I'm just gonna oh, just take some bronzer into my eyebrows and down my nose a little bit. So I've got the NARS liquid blush in the shade Torrid. And I absolutely love it. I've been using it with a brush because I'm too scared to put it on my hands. But I think what I'm gonna do is continue to use it on a brush like pump it onto my hand swirl it around in the brush a little bit put it on and then use the sponge to go over it because i'm too scared to do anything with my hands i can't i don't have the range for that oh god this thing is just so beautiful i'm actually it, just like the combination of these products is just are you actually joking? Look at my skin. Ooh, wow. I'm really in shock here. I'm in shock, genuinely. Anyway, <laughs> that blush is amazing. I want to go and pick up more of these, but I just hope that they have like a variety of colors. Okay, so that's my base pretty much done. I don't want to set it yet, so I'm going to move on to my eyes. And should I bring you closer for that? Is it necessary? Nah, I'll leave it like that. So, if you follow me on instagram you'll know that i've or if you follow me on reddit you'll know that i've been doing this series or twitter actually anything apart from youtube you'll know that i've been doing a series where i've been trying to match my scarf to my uh, makeup looks particularly my eyeshadow today's one is going to be this scarf okay so i'm starting off with i'm thinking of doing a like white pearlescent thingy and i'm thinking of Put in on like some of these i don't know if you can see like that those stars and maybe some of these pearls and the corners and stuff but i'm not sure yet so let's see how it goes basically so i'm going to go into ginger by jackie einar i'm just going to take a biggish fluffy blending brush and 
sweep that into the crease. Doesn't have to be precise at all, it's just to put some colour in that area. That's done. What I think I'm going to do is, I'm really not sure about this, but I'm thinking of putting grey in the crease. I'm going to go into Shisha Smoke from the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Vice Palette. Okay, so I'm packing it on first and then I'm just kind of like buffing it along my crease as I do that. Okay. Okay. Doesn't look bad. Mmm. I do like this. And this just does fit into the like the um, vision I had in my head of how I wanted this look to go. So far, so good. And then I'm just going to take another blending brush and i'm gonna blend that out further because it's a bit um do you know what i mean at the moment so i've got the result i want first i packed it to the outer corner then i just blended it along the crease as i was going kept packing it blending it packing it, blending it then i used a smaller but fluffier brush to blend it out and then and then i use a larger fluffier brush just to diffuse it and make sure that it's there's no like harsh lines okay you can't see oh that looks so ashy and dusty mm. okay but it looks bare nice in real life so that's fine i'm gonna dip into this shade from the makeup revolution supreme eyeshadow bewitch palette doesn't have a name sorry about that I'm scared that this is gonna maybe this look is too dark yikes oh, well it's too late i'm going back into the Mor Mor uh, moroccan spice palette and i'm adding this shade which is called moroccan ice it looks perfect to match this star like these stars you can see and you see how that star has like that pink and greenish shift that shades you can't see i don't know why i'm doing that that shade has the same thing but i'm just scared it's going to come out too pink but there's nothing i can do therefore i'm just going to do it oh dear <laughs> it's really pink it's really pink i say and then i put more on all right i'm gonna have to try and fix this but this basically looks like i've just put pink slash purplish shadow which is pretty upsetting because that is not what i was going for so what i've done is i've gone into the soft glam palette and i've dipped into tempura tempera tempera i don't know how to pronounce that this one oh and i'm just putting that on top i've done it messily on this eye but i'll fix it in a minute okay maybe that saved it a little bit so that's it for the shadows i'm gonna put the stickers on first before i do my lashes just in case i can't like you know what i mean so i've put on the stickers this is what it's looking like it's not 100 percent even it took me ages to do because my nails are really long so i had to get jalila and anisa to help me but yeah so i'm going to don't look too closely as well because it's not that even so i'm going to put my lashes on now and i'm going to put on the sosu dubai lashes i'm just going to do that off camera Okay, so I put my lashes on and this is how it's looking. It does look a bit better, but I think I flopped with this look, I'm not gonna lie. Time to set my face. I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. I was gonna use this Carl Lagerfeld lip gloss. It's pretty cool, it comes with a light. And then it has a mirror like there. Ooh. As a mirror there that you can use it's pretty cool but my thing is the look already doesn't look exactly how i wanted to it's meant to be like icy white pearly do you know what i mean and it just looks bare purple so i don't want to add pink and it, i just think that changes the vibe so instead i'm going to use my makeup revolution lip topper in the shade exquisite which is like really you can't see you see you see the vibe i'm going for here like that matches it where is this girl? Hopefully this looks right. I'm actually begging. This is the finished look. I've put this on. This is a necklace and I actually thought, do you know what, let me just try and try and tie all of it together because it's come out more purple than I wanted it to, but it's fine. I like how it looks. 
um, I'm really happy with this. I'm not usually one to do like graphic stuff, graphic line or that kind of thing, but because of this series, I feel like I've branched out more, which is great. All of the products, apart from the lip gloss, which I wasn't able to use, but all of the products are amazing amazing and i'm just really excited to use them i'm really excited to try new products comment down below any products that you've been trying that you feel like have just changed your life because i want to know like all these all this time people are talking about the foundation i just thought oh yeah it's probably good but it is look at my skin it's amazing so yeah um if you want a more concise artistic tiktok transitiony type video go to my tiktok or go to my instagram follow me on instagram all of the looks that i've been doing are very similar to this and they're all quite different i did one with the kente cloth i did one the last one i did was like a bronzy brownish which is pretty different to this which was more like icy but yeah just go to my instagram follow me on instagram follow me on twitter follow me on tiktok subscribe to my channel comment down below what you liked about it what you disliked Give it a like if you want to, don't if you don't. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.